everybody and welcome back to Kevin Plays Magic the Gathering Duels of the Planeswalkers 2012 Challenges. Today's challenge we are playing Lust for Blood which is another easy one, <coughs> excuse me, one on one challenge. In this game we're going to learn about Death Touch and I believe we're also going to learn about First Strike. And this will be the last easy challenge. So next up we'll be on to the actual medium challenges where we actually have to think basically about what we're doing and not just learning basic skills. Uh, so Teaching us trample as well, and first strike and double strike. So Garuk has one life, and we have eight. We, uh, I don't know, stimmy? I don't know what that means. <laughs> I assume we have to survive. Uh, Garuk's attack before finish him off. Uh, maybe I'm just dumb for not knowing what that word is, but that's not in my vocabulary. So anyway, we have this really big dude here. He has first strike, vigilance, trample, and haste. He also has flying, death touch, and lifelink. What's relevant is that he has Death Touch, and that he has First Strike. And the Flying's relevant as well. Well, he has Trample as well, which is also relevant. Is it Trample? I think he has Trample. First Strike? Yeah, Trample. Okay, so anyway, what we do is we're just going to block. And since he has First Strike, it's going to kill him. And our guy's going to stay alive, even though he's bigger, because he has First Strike and Death Touch. So he does Death Touch damage to the First Strike before regular combat damage is dealt. Now he, the opponent, has three two fours with reach. Now normally the four damage wouldn't be able to get through to him because he would just triple block him. But since we have first strike and death touch, then we will assign one combat damage to each creature, and it will kill them. And then there will be one damage left over, which will get in for the one damage of lethal for the trample. So like you have to assign um, enough for lethal. But since he has Death Touch, it only takes one damage to do lethal to each of them. So each of them are going to die. And like I said, since he has First Strike, then they won't do their damage to him. And then the last Trample damage goes in and kills him. And that'll win the challenge. So, you can check the annotations at the end for the links for a link to this playlist, the challenges playlist, as well as the link to the actual gameplays playlist. And I will see you all back here for the next challenge.